welcome back to my channel so today's video I am super excited because I'm gonna be doing a fall makeup tutorial and we are towards the end of September almost hitting October which just means that Halloween is just right around the corner and who's excited for Halloween because I am <laughs> um, don't mind this um, I just have that in case I get any fallout using darker eyeshadows for today's look so if you guys want to see me create a fall makeup tutorial, then please keep on watching and, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that whenever I upload a video, you guys are notified. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started because I am super excited. I'll see you in a bit. So don't mind my hair, you guys. I put it in a bun because my hair is too colorful for this fall makeup look. So yeah. <laughs> so you guys, I'm going to start off with Silky Cream first from the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm going to use this shade as a transition color. I seriously can't get enough of these eyeshadows, you guys. They blend out so good and they are super creamy. And the brush that I'm using is a Morphe brush, which I'll list everything down below for you guys. The only thing about this palette, you guys, that I don't really like is that it's so big and it's <laughs> it's a little heavy. Um, but with that same Morphe brush, I'm going to take the color Pukey and I'm going to focus the shade, you guys, on the lid. And I'm going to work it back and forth in my crease. Now I'm taking a flat MAC brush. I think it's the 233, I believe. Um, and I'm going into Hillister. Um, mixed with firework and I'm gonna place this color you guys only on my lid and next I'm gonna take a clean MAC 217 brush and I'm just gonna rock back and forth in my crease to make sure that everything is blended and the same thing I'm gonna do on the other eye obvio <laughs> So I feel like it looks a little plain, so I'm going to go in with that same flat brush by MAC. I'm going to take in the color Queen, and I'm just going to pop it in the center to give it a little bit more sparkle and for my eyeshadow to stand out a little bit more. Next, on a MAC 266 brush, I'm taking the color Central Park to create a thin liner. Um, I do this one to make it look a little bit smokier, and then the second reason is so that when I apply my eyelashes, the band of the lashes um, can blend in really well. Next, you guys, I'm taking my Anastasia Dip Brow, and I'm going to take this and apply it towards my lower lash line. I'm going to use it as a base because I want the lower lash line to be a little bit darker than the top. And to set it, you guys, I'm going to go back into that eyeshadow Central Park and I'm going to smoke it out. I'm telling you guys, this palette is huge. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and take Pooter and Pukey and I'm going to go ahead and just blend out the lower lash line. Um, just so that everything just looks really seamless and that everything is blended together. Now it's time for mascara and shocker. I'm going to go in with my favorite, the Big Tease Mascara by Buxom Cosmetics. And I'm going to apply it to my top lashes and then I'm going to apply my falsies. I apply my favorite lashes from A's Lashes, and they're in the style Annie. Um, they are my favorite lashes out of this whole eyelash line that my friend is coming out with, and I will provide you guys details soon as soon as the website is up. But I feel like these really made my eyeshadow complete, and they are just super beautiful and so stunning. Now I'm going to apply the same Buxom Cosmetics Mascara and I'm going to apply it towards my lower lash line. Can you guys just see how well my bottom lashes look with this mascara? And I love the wand of this mascara as well, but I just feel like they make my lashes look so beautiful and so full, which, which is what I really, really like. Going into the Just Peachy Matte Palette by Too Faced, I'm taking the color Peach Merengue and Peach Butter and I'm going to go ahead and just blend out um, the eyeshadow and then just place this color in my brow bone because I want everything from the top to be matte since we have a lot of shimmer going on on the lid. Now you guys I'm going to go into Enlight and Beam and with the Sonia Kashuk pencil brush I'm going to highlight my inner corner. This color by MAC Cosmetics in the shade Simply Smoked. Um, it's the shade I normally applied first but once I started to take pictures I wasn't really feeling it so I decided to change it to the Too Faced Melted Matte in Naughty by Nature and I loved it way better with this makeup look. For today's video please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you guys in my next video. I love you guys so much. I'll see you soon. Bye!